Hey guys, welcome to another episode of 3 and 90, the only movie review show on the internet that Channing Tatum supposedly adores. Now this is through the leaked emails from the whole Sony hacking thing, so... I got one. Yeah. Uh, Channing, we love you too, buddy. Uh, still waiting for my call about Magic Mike 2. You know, let a brother know. Come on. Okay. Uh, so what's going to happen here, the whole concept of this is I'm going to review three movies. It's only going to take 90 seconds. It's really exciting. It doesn't take much of your time. So sit there, relax, and let me do my thing. Today I'm going to take a look at Chris Rock's latest, Top 5, Reese Witherspoon's latest, Wild, and Benedict Cumberbatch's latest, The Imitation Game. So all I need is 90 seconds on the clock, and then I need the founder to tell me that I should start, and then, then I start. That's just how this works. So, founder. So, ready? Let's just go. Okay, so Chris Rock's latest top five. Now, some of it's really silly. Chris Rock, not really the world's greatest actor, but he's a fantastic director, a fantastic writer, and he has a lot to say here. It's a really interesting story. He's got a lot to say about entertainment, about being an entertainer, uh, about going back to your roots and trying something different. I really kind of respect that. Some of the film, too, is really, really hilarious. I mean, there's some scenes in it, some cameos. It's actually really worth checking out. Rosario Dawson is great in it. I fully recommend it. Up next is Wild. This is Reese Witherspoon's latest. This movie is made or lost on whether or not you enjoy this Reese Witherspoon performance. I, for one, absolutely adored it. She is my leading lead lady in all the awards season stuff going on right now. I'm cheering for her. She's fantastic. The film is really captivating, really engaging. The character is just fantastic. It's it's a really hard movie to watch at times, but I mean that in the best way possible. You have to check it out. It'll be in all the awards talk. Um, last, certainly not least, another movie in all of the awards talk. It's The Imitation Game. And this is the kind of movie that Hollywood's been making since, like, the 1980s. It's just designed to win awards. The thing is, the formula works, and it works really well here, too. It's a crowd pleaser. It's really kind of sad by the end. Benedict Cumberbatch is really fantastic in it, so is Karen Knightley. It's really worth your time to check out, and you don't want to be the guy at the Oscar party that has no idea what movies are nominated. And this one, and we're done. totally going to be nominated. We're done. I might have gone over like 10 seconds. Yeah, seconds, technically. Seconds. Technically, this is a fail. Just so. No, it's not. It's, it's never a fail. fail. Right, Channing? Alright, so until <laughs> next time... We'll I'm going to put a happy. magic mic thing right behind you. Yeah, totally. Until next time, I uh, hope you have a very happy holiday season. Hope you go out and see some movies. I'm Joe Lopez.